What's up guys, welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we're looking at the Puppy Cube. Essentially, it's a short throw projector that can project up to 100 inches on a wall or you can stand it upright and it'll actually project on a table and it's touch screen basically. It has 10 points of touch so it actually detects up to 10 fingers at a time. Now the bulb in it they're saying is good enough to run four hours a day for up to 10 years. So it should last you a minute. You got a warranty information card, easy setup guide. Oh, very cool. Okay, I'll hold on to that because I'll probably need it, but we don't really need it. Ooh. Okay, first off, let's get to the box. Power adapter, power cord, USB to micro USB cable, and a remote. Ooh, that is a cool remote. Oh, that's fancy. Look at that. That is a nice brushed aluminum, very modern sleek design. I really like that. There it is, the Puppy Cube. It's got the Puppy logo right there on it. You got all the sensors and the projector and all that right there. On the top you got your power button. It looks like, yep, those are buttons. Looks like up and down volume. You actually have a five megapixel camera on the top. So you can use that for conference calling or FaceTime. On the back, you got these little feet. I believe this opens, there we go. So on the inside, you've got a 3.5 millimeter port for headphones, you've got a USB port, HDMI, and you got your DC adapter port for power. So when you plug it in, there we go. And now when you set it in any angle, so you don't have to worry about the cable. On the sides, you got all these holes. Not only is it for ventilation to keep everything cool, but it also has five watt speakers built into it. But yeah, that's, that's the whole thing. It's all very simple. Let's turn this thing on because I'm excited about this. Okay, you hear the fan? Oh, there it is, Puppy Cube. You see that? It's auto adjusting. Oh, that is so awesome. That auto resolution, it detects the distance between the table and the actual device and it corrects everything. That is so cool. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, that is so, all right, you know what? Oh my God, I'm geeking out. I'm geeking out, man. Pair with Bluetooth, first plan in the remote control, got it. Is this rechargeable? I just noticed, but the remote itself actually has a micro USB port on it, so it is rechargeable. Welcome to, okay, so I'm looking at the monitor and you guys are probably looking at like a blown out version of what I'm seeing. This thing is super clear. I'm gonna turn off the lights so we can get a, so you guys can get a better idea of what I'm looking at here. Okay. Can you guys see me? Probably not. All right, so, wow. This thing is so, look at that. It feels so smooth, like I'm using a big touch screen. This is ridiculous. Now, one downside is that it's not 1080, it is actually 720 in resolution. It may look a little different for you guys, but I'm seeing a very sharp, clear image. It looks really good at this size. It has its own custom UI, but it is Android. Let's see if we can. Oh. Okay. Okay, so a uh, strange series of events. The electricity cut out while I was doing some updates. Luckily it runs off a of battery, so I didn't I didn't brick this thing. And uh, didn't have power for a little while. At about 1.40, I think, I was met with a little message on my phone saying this. So yeah, I almost died. When the power cut out, we didn't have anything, but this had some juice, so it gave me an opportunity to play around with it a little bit. This thing is better than I thought. So I'm gonna, I actually got this whiteboard, so you guys can actually see a much sharper, clearer image. All right, so now you guys can see it a little bit more clear. Okay, so you got the main homepage here. It's got your basic Netflix, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Firefox, and this is like their proprietary player. Uh, it's a little weird. <laughs> It works, but it's just odd. Now, streaming video is actually pretty nice. You can go into Netflix, pick your movie. Obviously, I'm gonna go with Avengers. And it's a pretty good image. It's, it's actually not bad. I can't play too much of that, I'll get copyright striked. But when you slide it over, then you've got your puppy lounge. And this is where your, your games are at. But it's got some really fun games on it that are kind of addictive once you get used to them. There is a really fun one with uh, with these little fat guys. And you gotta knock each other off and become like the king opera singer. And then there was Dual Otters. And that one was actually pretty fun because it's got a lot of mini games on there that you can play with friends. When you go back to the homepage, they had this up to down app. Now this is their proprietary, kind of like a Google Play Store. But their app store is full of a lot of, a lot of good stuff. You got Microsoft Outlook, Spotify, Pinterest. 
I mean, you got everything. So I was experimenting a little bit when we were messing around with it last night. It started hitting me. I was like, all the different things that you can use this with. And then I moved it into my office. I almost want to just kind of leave it on my desk as just like a, a side thing happening just on my desk, you know, out of the way. Or you can lay it down and it'll project on the wall and the image looks really good. And then I thought, hey, wait, I bet you could probably find a recipe app that would work really good with this. And I found one and I put it in the kitchen. Uh, I made a little mess with some spaghetti sauce and some meatballs and uh, it did kind of mess it up because then the sensors thought that my hand was touching it and it wasn't, but light messes and stuff like that, you probably won't have to worry about it. Also the audio coming out of this thing, the five watt speakers, I'm guessing there's two of them, one on each side. It sounds pretty good. It doesn't have a whole lot of depth, but it's definitely usable. <laughs> The image quality is actually pretty good at this size. Obviously this size is really good quality, but even at 100 inches, it actually projects a pretty clean image. It's a pretty well-rounded piece of technology. I really like it. I mean, $1,000, no, it's not gonna be for everybody. If you do have an extra grand to spend and you're looking for a really cool piece of technology, this is definitely a way to go for sure. I, this thing is so much fun and I'm gonna have a lot of fun figuring out different ways I can use it. But thank you Puppy Robot for sending this my way so I could test it out for myself. You guys are doing some pretty cool stuff over over there. Either way, guys, that is it. I'm going to leave links down in the description below as usual. I leave it in your hands, but as for now, get out of here.